Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for checking out this video. This is a long time coming. My name is Desiree and I'm a Cape Cod based artist and I'm so happy to finally be sharing my process with you. I'll go into my story another time, but I wanna jump right into what I'm doing. So to start, I'm working in oils. I almost exclusively work in oil paint. Um, the size I'm working on is 24 by 24 inches or basically a two by two. Uh, canvas, it's not a panel. It's about, uh, I want to say this is maybe like, maybe an inch or two. It's a gallery wrapped canvas. It's not ideal. It's not what I usually work on, but it's what I had. So I'm not going to waste it. Um, I am working from a reference photo. I did not share the reference photo, um, but it was just a, nothing special. It was just literally to figure out the color and shape and things like that. I started with a sketch of the agave plant and normally I would tone the canvas so that I'm not working on stark white, um, but I was really eager to get right into color so I did skip that step as you could see. And for the most part, this is pretty self-explanatory, but I will definitely explain um, different parts of the process, so enjoy. I did want to note that one of the reasons why I don't want to share the reference photo that I'm using is because I truly had an idea for this. I didn't want it to look just like the photo, so I left parts of the plant out. I changed some things that I thought would benefit the painting and what made sense and just to kind of make it all work a little better. So. Yeah, I I think that's important though. So maybe I will insert the photo. I literally just Googled agave and <laughs> used it for just a reference. I didn't try to copy it perfectly because that's not my aim. So I think that's important to use your artistic license because you know, it's nice to work from photos and to have that reference, but I really think it's important to kind of put your own spin on it. So if you don't like something, I think it's important to leave it out. I think so often as painters, we get like so stuck in like, well, this is, this is how it is, but that doesn't have to be how we paint it. We can paint it any way we want, you know, and that's the beauty of painting. And that's one thing I love about painting is if I like the sky in a landscape, in one spot but that's not necessarily behind what I'm painting I can paint the sky that's to my left and paint the objects or whatever I'm looking at that's straight in front of me if that makes sense so I think that's really important to hear my mentor always tells me that she always tells me to move um, painting with her has helped me tremendously because I just get all of this wisdom and experience you know, so it's so helpful to me and I would really encourage you to do that. Because this is an agave plant, I was mindful to depict the leaves properly and that they don't resemble an aloe plant too closely. That was my concern and something that I kept in the forefront of my mind while painting this because, you know, I didn't want that confusion. They can look similar. They have similar characteristics to their leaves, similar colors too. So, you know, if you're not familiar with agave, you might think this is aloe and I want you to look at it and be like, oh, that's not an aloe plant. Maybe I don't know what it is, but it's not aloe. So <laughs> hopefully it looks like that. Not everybody knows what an agave plant looks like. So yeah, anyways, um, I'm really happy with it. I am actually looking at it while I am doing this voiceover and I see some things that I would actually really like to tweak. So you may see another one of these videos, but for the most part,
I hope this video is helpful. I just added darks and lights where I saw them and I tried to make this as colorful as I could. Still make it look, you know, correct and not far-fetched. So I hope you enjoy this video and I hope it helps you on your painting. I will list materials and things that I used. Uh, for brushes, I use a ton of different brushes. I'm not exclusive to one brand. Nobody pays me for anything, so I use whatever I want. I like rosemary brushes. I really like Robert Simmons brushes. And I just kind of use anything. Well, not anything, that's a lie. Don't use anything. I use pretty good, I use pretty good products. Um, and paint, I'll make another video going over the paint I use, but again, I'm all over the place all over the place with my paints as well and and i'm still exploring different paint brands so i will be sharing that as i continue to share new videos and i am on tiktok my tiktok is aodray it's a y o d e e r a y and my instagram is indigo and orchids product. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe, like, and comment.